another kid from the ghetto. Good morning, good morning, good morning, man. It's like an incredible start to the morning. Package on the way, in case you can't see, man. And that is another one that we hit on, man. Like, you know, so that's incredible. Got the family, the whole gang. We're watching CJ So Cool, catching up, man, because other content creators are like family. Got the little one right here eating on something. Don't know what she's eating. But say hi. <laughs> but yeah, but it's on with the show, man. Caught a couple L's and caught a couple W's, man. Wins and lessons, all right? Wins and lessons, man. There's no such thing as a loss, man. It's wins and lessons, man. So it's on with the show. Not sure what, how the day's gonna go, man. I just go with the flow. But it's all about winning, 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 winning. And I hope you're winning too, man. Wins and lessons. Wins and lessons. Wins and lessons. Wins and lessons. There's no such thing as a loss. I go by the name of Caesar, aka Proud Papa, aka Mr. Sneaker Rob, man. Walk tall, think rich, don't buy your head unless in the face of God, because if you do, you drop your crown and you do not want to do that, because you're kings and queens. And, um, yeah. Good news. Great news, man. We're going for a couple W's this week. And whichever way it goes, man. We all winning, man. Teamwork makes the dream work, man. No iron team, man. It's about us, not just me, all right? So let's do it together. Let's work together, all right? Yeah. Man, the craziest thing happened the other day. I got my hands on um, what I thought was supreme, you know? And um, fortunately enough, I did not put any bread into it. You know, I was just, it was acquired. That's all I'm gonna say, man. But I thought it was like, you know, kind of suspicious. So what I did is I reached out to the good people at Private Selection and, um, you know, specifically, um, be me, I'm Scotty, right? I, hit, I reached out to Scotty and I was like, hey, Scotty, man, you know, is this thing legit? And in case you're curious about, you know, what it is, because I'm not an expert when it comes to Supreme, right? So I always reach out to people who are more knowledgeable than me when it comes to certain items. And um, this is what it looked like. Like, bear with me a moment. So this is what it looked like, uh, looks like, right? You know, everything seems on the up and up, man. You have the, the tag, pre-shrunk, you name it. So in my mind, man, I was like, yo, I hit a gold mine. You know, I hit, I hit something solid, but, you know, so I had to reach out to Scotty and, and find out if it was legit, right? And I would advise you, if you have any type of clothing, label, sneakers, legit check everything, man. Because you guys work so hard for your money, you do not want to be caught in the crossfire when it comes to people who are scamming. Fortunately for me, it wasn't a, t a scam type situation. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, man. You still want to legit check and make sure that everything is on the up and up. So what I did was I reached out to um, Scotty. And um, and and as you can see, I got the little text over there and the pictures as well. I said, "Hey, Scotty, man, is this legit?" And I know he's dealing with SneakerCon. And in case you guys don't know who Scotty is, he is with Private Selection with um, Chef Ian, uh, Master Chef Ian, and um, Full Fit Larry. And they have a store called Private Selection PCH. They got a Los Angeles location and a, a Dallas uh, location. And um, I know he's dealing with SneakerCon. I know he's dealing with SneakerCon at the moment. And he was um, kind enough to respond to me. And he's like, no, it, like, no, sir, it is not. And I was like, all right, good looking out, man. Fortunately, didn't spend crazy bread on it. You know, didn't get like, you know, finesse or anything. It wasn't a situation where people were trying to finesse, but I'm just saying, for anybody out there, you're getting any items, you're getting any, you know, type of uh, drip, apparel, clothing, swag splash, whatever you want to call it, whatever Young Bucks are calling it these days, man, legit check everything. Do not get anything Fugaga or Fugazi, unless you know it's Fugaga and Fugazi, then that's your choice. You're not being finessed, right? But um, as for me, um, today what it, it is about is chasing deals, trying to figure out a um, couple moves, man. A um, couple pairs that we still have to move, a um, couple pairs that have been sitting for a little bit, so I'm not sure if to lower the price, but I'm not trying to take any type of loss, man. Like So it's one of those things where you have to figure out uh, what exactly to do. Um, it's all about wash, uh, like, you know, cycle, rinse, repeat. Wash, cycle, rinse, repeat, man. It's just that cycle. The more you do it, and you consistently do it, the better results come and uh, everything. Still waiting for it, like, you know, a, a payment um, for a pair. Um, but they're going through the legit check process, um, authentication process. Um, and then after that, you know, um, the check gets cut. And then it's on with the show and it's on to the next one. So anybody who knows anything about this game, it's all about consistency. It's all about, like, you know, keeping on top of things, man. A lot of releases coming out, a lot of stuff coming out, man. And it's all about picking and choosing which one is which. And it's also about being a, a person who's got good taste. You have to have good taste and figure out what, you know, you figure will move and uh, what you think won't move. 
The hardest thing about being a reseller is this though. You have to remind yourself that it is a business, right? And as a business, you have to understand that, you know, as many pairs that are coming in, a lot of the times you want to keep some as personals, right? And that's the tricky part. You can't keep all of them as personals, man, unless, 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 which might sound redundant, but at the same time, it's business, right? My whole perspective is, if you're gonna choose something out of your inventory as a personal, then pay for it, man, and pay the price that you would have charged somebody for that pair. That is the only way. Bless you, baby. That is the only way, because you'll be, you know, you'll be digging yourself a, a mean hole because you're just getting inventory and then just sitting on it and keeping it for yourself. So you have to be honest with yourself. Whatever you get, hey, put the money down, man. Spend your bread on it, you know? Like, put money down, like, you know, spend your bread on it. And um, that's just how it goes because you can't keep on getting pairs and then say, you know what, this one is fire and I'm holding on to it. Nah, man. If you want to hold on to it, you got to pay for it, you know? And that's just how it goes. Just like if you got family coming into your store, you're not giving no free pairs away or, or free pieces or whatever it is that you're selling. No, it's a business. It is a business. It's called a business for a reason. It's a grind, man. It's a hustle. So, hey, it is what it is, man. And, hey, like, comment, subscribe, you know? Um, don't forget to, like, hit the notification button. I'm still adjusting to all of this, like, asking for people to like, comment, and subscribe. But, you know, do me that favor. Do me that solid. And also follow me at um, snkr.r-o-u-t-e on Instagram. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. On with the show. Let's roll.